our gospel today, it seems like there's some, some crazy or perplexing stuff going on with, uh, with Jesus. So first of all, there's this woman who, who comes to him for help, as so many people do, and it seems like well, he's just ignoring her and then just sort of like wanting to, wanting to brush her off. You know, like, like the Lord of all would, would do that for someone in need. You know, like he's like, hey, I, I left Israel to like get away from you people. Like, leave me alone. That's maybe something like, I don't know, that we might be tempted to do. And then Jesus seems to be, be insulting her by referring to her as, as a dog, which was a general uh, term that the Israelites used for just all other non, non-Israelites. Not that that makes it good, of course, but would, would, would Jesus the incarnate Son of God, who is love itself, be, be insulting and demeaning to people. I think Jesus is working this whole thing in order to really let not just them, his disciples, her, but also us here today about the new thing that he had come to, to build up, to raise up, this new Israel, the church. He says, I was sent only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And our first reading from Isaiah, this prophet, who the prophets speak the truth of God, we also hear about this house of God, this house of prayer that will be for all peoples. And he's, the prophet says even the foreigners will be able to, to come in because the membership is not based on like where you're from. But what do we hear? It's those who who have joined themselves to the Lord, ministered it to him, who have who love his name, who worship him, who become his servants. So we can take that then uh, back to this passage today. And Jesus, of course, came to fulfill all this, like he came to fulfill all the, the law and the prophets. And we see this this woman uh, from uh, a foreign a foreign place where Jesus actually is. You know, it's like, why would he say, I've come only to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel when he's, in, when he's not in Israel, when he intentionally goes to this, this other place to in, encounter people there? And so we have uh, this woman who comes up to him in order for him to relieve her daughter of that demon, and she says, Lord, son of David, help me. So she calls him Lord, and she refers to him as the son of David. That's a, like a, a, a Messiah-type language which the Canaanites would not have believed in, would not have, have claimed any Israelite person as, as their Lord. And we later hear then that she does him homage. She like, kneels before him and does him homage. And she says, Lord, help me. That, that's a prayer, right? It's a good prayer for all of us. So she recognizes, even perhaps more than, the, than a lot of the, the Jews do, who Jesus really is, is the Lord, Son of David, Savior, and, and the one to whom is owed homage. So she comes to him with faith. She comes to him with worship. She comes to him with, with prayer. So she's fulfilling what we heard in Isaiah 56, as those who have joined themselves to the Lord and become part of his house. And in order to do that, she had to, to let go of, of, of really her background and all these just generations of Israelite-hating uh, Canaanians who didn't believe in the Messiah, who didn't have any claim to the covenant at all, in order to enter into what Jesus was really inviting her and inviting everyone into, not some kind of special club, but a relationship. Relationship based on faith and worship and prayer, and she had that. Even to, to think of this term of, you know, it's not right to give the, the food of the children and give it to the dogs, and she says, you know, even the dogs get, you know, the scraps from the master's table. That word dog there is, um, the word that we get translated dogs doesn't refer to like mangy street dogs, but more like household pets. You knew from your own family, your own household, that your household pets are just part of your, your life there at home. So as she's like humbly sort of claiming this language that they've been using, she says, well, look, Lord, I'm willing to even just be a household pet. I just want to be in the house. And that's when Jesus was like, let's go. 
And she, want, she knew that she was made to be in the house of the Lord Jesus. The same is true for us. And I think all of this speaks to um, what brings us here today. Are we coming to, to declare Jesus again as the Lord and Savior of our life? Do we come in, in faith and worship and prayer, just knowing that despite our own weaknesses, limitations, backgrounds, you know, whatever, baggage, that we're made uh, to be in the house of the Lord, we're made to be part of the very family of God. And to go out and help to remind others that they were made for that as well. So let's recall that and claim that in a special way today as we encounter Christ here in the Mass and are then are sent forth to live and to share Jesus.